Hello everybody, um, I'm going to talk about relative atomic mass uh, today uh, and I'm going to give you an example how to work out relative atomic mass. After that I am going to um, work out in three, two or three examples of different types of calculations, it's a bit harder. So we start by knowing the topic 2.2 OCRA chemistry A level. Okay. And definition of relative atomic mass is the weight, weighted mean mass of an atom of an element relative to 1 twelfth of the mass of the atom of carbon 12. So that's the definition. So an example I put in here, so the mass spectrum obtained from a sample of chlorine shows that there is 75.78% of chlorine 35 and 24.22% of chlorine 37. So calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine atom. The first thing you do, this is a symbol for relative atomic mass. So you work out the abundance, which is 75 times 0.78 times 35, which is isotope 35. Divide that by 100, and then you add 24.22 times 30, isotope 37, divide by 100. You can divide all by 100 if you like, it's up to you. So the answer will give you, if you do this bit here, if you go slowly, get this bit here, it gives you 26.523 for the first fraction, plus 8.9614 for the second fraction. If you add them together, it gives you 35.4844, uh, the result. Then I change in two decimal places for 35.48. So the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.48. Right, I'm going to now show you how to solve a, a bit more difficult question. It's a slightly different question. So a sample of boron contains isotopes 10 and isotope boron 11. The relative atomic mass of the boron sample is 10.8. So they give you a relative atomic mass. Um, what is the percentage of boron 11 atoms in a sample of boron? The first thing you do, you set it up. So you've got a relative atomic mass, you know it's 10.8, because it's SEO AR. So I can put here AR equals 10.8, so you know that. Equals to isotope 10. 10, you don't know the percentage. So 10 times X divided by 100, plus, then you've got 11 times 100 minus X, okay? divided by 100. So once you've got this set up, you have to rearrange the equation. So you, by multiplying 10.8 by 100, you get rid of the 100 on the bottom of the fraction. So what you do, it goes 10.8 times 100 equals to 10x plus 1100 minus 11x. So what I did, I got rid of 100 and I multiplied that by x, that by 100, that by x. So 10.8 times 100 is 10, 1080 equals to 10x plus 1100 minus 11x. So if you move everything to the other side, the axis should be 11x minus 10x equals to 1100 minus 10, 10 1080. 8, 8, 1, um, so that makes x equals to 20. So x is for isotope 10. So borom 10, borom 10 is 20%. Therefore, borom 11 is 80%. And that's how you solve this question. I'm sorry about the noise of the dogs. It's because I got dogs and they're playing outside. So I apologize, so don't worry, they're fine. Thank you. Right, question number three. A sample of antimonium has got a um, relative atomic mass 121.8 was analyzed and found to consist of 60% of 121 isotope antimonium and one other isotope. Determine, determine the mass number of the other isotope in a sample of antimonium. So antimonium. So what you have to do first of all, you know the AR is 121.8. Okay. So you start by putting 121.8 equals to 
60 percent is the 121 so 121 divided by 100 plus if one sample is 60 percent and if you have another if you have a full sample 100 percent so it'd be 100 minus 60 gives you 40 so it'd be 40 percent is your other isotope which you can call it x so all that divided by 100 so the first thing you do you multiply 121.8 times 100 so it'll be 121.8 times 100 equals to 60 times 121 plus 40x so you got rid of the 100 by multiplying by 100 so all the hundreds is gone so then you can rearrange this equation so be this one will give you um, 12,180 equals to 7,260 that's the multiplication 60 by 121 plus 40x if you rearrange this goes 12180 minus 7260 equals to 40x so all this divided by 40 so it'll be 121 minus 26 uh, 1000 12180 minus 7260 divided by 40 equals to x so x is going to be the answer is going to be 123 so the other isotope is the sb 123 so that's another type of relative atomic mass questions you can get which is slightly more difficult but if you practice then you get it right in the exam right the next question is bromine has two isotopes bromine 79 and bromine 81 the relative atomic mass of bromine is 79.9 they don't give you any percentage, but they ask you what is the percentage of 79. So we start by putting uh, relative atomic mass is 79.9 equals to the isotope 79 times x, because we don't know that, divided by 100, plus the isotope 81 times 100 minus x, divided by 100. So if you multiply 79.9 times 100, it gives you 7,990 equals to 79x plus 8,100 8, minus 81x. So you've got rid of the hundreds, it's much more clear. So you can now rearrange this equation by bringing them around this side. So you put the minus 81x becomes 81x. And 79x becomes minus 79x equals to 8100 minus 7990. So this is going to be 2x equals to 110 and x equals to 55%. So isotope BR79 is 55%. Therefore, isotope BR81, which is 100 minus uh, 55 gives you 45 percent there you are that's how you solve these questions so i went through different types of um, uh, relative atomic mass questions i hope that helps you if you've got any questions please ask me but i will move on next topic which is going to be molecular and empirical formula calculations thank you so much for listening don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on notification thing and i hope you keep enjoying my lessons and thank you bye